So my friend Jose has been commenting a lot on the channel. There are a lot of you who comment and leave good comments and good feedback and good suggestions as well. So I want to thank everybody who's been active on the channel lately. That's very nice for everyone to help each other, become somewhat of a community where we can help each other out and talk about things. And one of the things Jose was talking about was the sequential taillight kit on the bullet. Now the guy I sold the bullet to for a little while had installed this on the car and I thought it was pretty cool. And I've never bought one of these kits because I just thought it was way down on the priority list where I'd rather do other upgrades to the car, whether performance or making the car nicer or the wheels and tires. And so it's always been at the bottom of the list. I always thought it was cool and I considered doing it one day. But anyway, he did do that to the car and I liked it. I thought it was cool, but I did hear a couple of bad reviews about those frying the computer. And I don't know if that's really true. If your ECU or PCM gets fried, there's no real way to say what did it, you know. Uh, sometimes you can narrow it down, but maybe there's somebody who did something else to their car and they're blaming it on this. I don't know, but for me, I'd rather just take it all out and return it to stock at this point and be safe rather than sorry. So I decided to go ahead and return this all to stock. And the guy I sold the car to did leave the stock harness in the car, in the trunk. And one of those harnesses was actually out of a 97 GT because I had an issue with the harness when I bought the car, the wires were frayed. And that 97 harness wasn't um, as nice either. It had some electrical tape that I had gone in there and wrapped before too. So I did get a whole new harness for the car. And so I actually have a few harnesses on hand just lying around, so I used one of those. But you can see I pulled the tail light out. It's pretty easy, there's four bolts on the back. I think they're 11 millimeter. And you can see this is the aftermarket harness and it just plugs into the factory connection down there. So at least that's easy to take back to stock. There's the stock harnesses there. And uh, underneath the dash is where you have to change the flasher module because it would go too fast with the turn signals. There's the module here, it's pulled out little box here that plugs into the factory harness and there's a stock one uh, that replaces that to return it back to stock and it's this yellow one in here and I had actually got this out of a 97 GT as well because when I bought the bullet this uh, module uh, was bad. It's called electronic flasher module. So anyway um, I went through and um, took a video of this just so I can know how it goes for orientation's sake in case uh, somebody else gets it or whatever I can show them how to to install it or whatever but anyway I went through and had had to take all the bulbs out and replace them into the old harness and it does reuse the bulbs so that was probably the most time consuming part was taking the tail light out and taking all the bulbs out and putting them in and getting the harnesses back in the way they go because you have one harness for the reverse light and then you have the three stock harnesses and two of those are also turn signals the two outer ones so people might not know that about the Mustang but the outer two are the turn signals, not all three. So I always like to clean behind the panels I take off. And if you do this every time you work on the car, you'll find out that your car becomes cleaner as you work. Now this will get dusty again over time, but the bullet is not a daily driver anymore. So this will just keep it cleaner. And it's really nice to not have any rust or anything back behind there too. I keep an eye on that, make sure there's nothing going on there. So. Um, living in the desert. I've never seen rust on these cars, so that's a good thing. But you have to get the grommet back in there, and I found it's easier to pull it through the other side, and it seals to keep water from getting into the trunk. And so, so you twisted it around a little bit there, got it uh, set up. And now I decided that the best thing to do would be to put the tail light in and just use one bolt to hold it in place while I test it on each side to make sure that everything's working and then I'll put the other bolts on after that and I wanted to make sure to replace the flasher module as well uh, make sure everything was swapped over before I tested it because you don't want to test it with half and half so up here is where 
the module is supposed to be hung on the dash, on the inside of the dash. And yes, that surface rust on the dash is completely normal. A lot of times they leave the factory looking like that. So, so here we go, left turn signal, right turn signal. We'll do the parking lights. So that's all six <laughs> across the back there. And then when you hit the brakes, the outer two on each side go lighter because it's a dual filament bulb. But anyway, that's that. It's all put back together. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short update on the bullet. And stay tuned for more Mustang content.